Hey guys, welcome back to Eat Z TV. Thank you for stopping by for another podcast video. And here we are in the second podcast, and we have a familiar face. The last podcast which I had, uh, he was he was there for that podcast, and he's there for this one. It is Jeet who's come back for the podcast. And hello, Jeet, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you, Aurelia, for having me here again. And have Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everybody listening. Yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas to you too. and uh, yes mostly it's going to be uploaded on 1st of jan so happy new year to everyone who's watching uh, if you are new to the channel i would suggest you all to check out our other videos if you all enjoy them then you all can subscribe to the channel if you all want more content and if you want to be a part of our podcast members you know you can contact me through twitter and instagram link in the description below so let us start about the podcast okay jeet liston colasso the big guy in uh, kolkata at the moment how do you feel his performance is well his performance is like outstanding from whenever when the moment he joined atk mohan bagan he's been giving very good performances like starting from the afc cup and right now yesterday like my word he actually scored an amazing outstanding goal i will say the best in till so far in this league and i will also tell like he will improve very much in the future he is going to be a big part of the indian football team yes that yeah that's what we all want to because someone has to take the sunil chetri's position right so i think yes. mr colasso uh, can be the one so now we'll just talk about how his performance you know has improved so if uh, for our viewers who don't know liston colasso before this used to play for fc goa and then he was in hyderabad and then he went to atk mohan bagan so uh, the thing i think the main reason why his performance has gone so up i think is because his position has been changed uh, in goa and in goa and hyderabad mostly but uh, mostly in goa he used to be played as a left mid or right mid position but i think now he's getting the left winger position right mostly that side yes that is true but also i will add to this like not only he is uh, playing good because of the position he is getting the chances like when he was in goa he got he was there for three seasons man but he just got eight appearances then he went to hyderabad in hyderabad he played almost all games and scored some very nice goals also and most of all in the atk mohan bagan he is getting familiar with the Uh, style of play which is being played continued by habas and now juan fernando and then also he is like uh, he is getting the chances i will say that's why he is improving very much and also he is a big major factor in the indian national team yes that is one of the major reasons so uh, let us just dis- discuss you know the previous season's performance because our viewers should have some knowledge now uh, the last season he was playing for uh, for hyderabad in which he had 20 appearances and just scored two goals and had three assists now in uh, for atk mohan bagan let's talk about isl point of view only he has played eight matches five goals one assist uh, you can see already there's a huge increase and forget that or twelve in the afc cup four matches one goal one assist he's clearly uh, improving and he's clearly showing that if there's quality to support him he's one of the most quality players and also he's a very good dribbler like most of his goals if you see are from dribbles and the long range shot yesterday he broke a record he is like the sick he yeah, like the uh, sixth fastest it's... shot short cs yes, in football history yeah so yeah if it's I- isl then it's okay but this is indian history i mean football history so i think i see he has huge potential do you think he will be playing uh, maybe a bird one day yes i also i also think this because like uh, he's playing he'll get offers from other clubs soon people will know about him because slowly people are knowing about him then he will get to ultimately get offers from outside also and if he goes outside it will be a very good he it will get a very good opportunity for him yes that that's what all we want you know indian footballers uh, to go be go abroad that's like almost uh, all the indian footballers dreams you know play abroad now when i mean abroad uh, i don't mean in afc of course because even that's also a in europe thing, in but europe i want him to play like in europe somewhere Yes, like, but we don't want something like Sandesh Jingar. What happened to him? No, we can't say about Sandesh. Sandesh Jingar has got injury issues. That's the only sad point. Otherwise, otherwise, I think Jingar would have had a start by now. Yes, injury. See, Ishan Pandita. He played for two years in Spain. He plays so good now. 
टॉकिंग अबाउट इट फॉर वॉट डू यू फील डू यू फील दैट अपार्ट फ्रॉम लिस्टर्न डू यू हैव एनी अदर प्लेयर्स लाइक यू थिंक विल गो एब्रॉड Apart from Liston Kola, so till now I don't think. But because mainly till now in the uh, league, only the foreign players have been making an impact. But yeah. if you see Liston Kola, he's the only Indian in the whole league till now. Like after the season is gone, he's the only one making an impact, being an Indian. So what do you feel, Aurelio? Like what is happening to the other Indian players? Like Sunil Chetri can't play. If you see, no, I, we can forgive Sunil Chetri. Like he's been performing for so many seasons. There is obviously a downfall supposed to happen for him. Yes, yes, yes. And like it's it's okay, uh, but I want to talk about a player who doesn't score goals but has played an amazing performance. And not that I, because he plays for Mumbai City that I'm saying, and that is uh, Opia. Before joining Mumbai City, he had an offer from uh, you know I think a Korean club. I'm not sure if it yes, was Korean yes, yes. or Japanese. I think a Korean club mm-hmm. had offered to sign. him but uh, he then later chose mumbai so i feel that uh, if he continues his performance you know has a good solid partner like jahu yes that is true apu is going to be one of apu is uh, is also emerging player like listen colasso another player which i think he is very improved now is bipin singh what do you say uh bipin singh uh, as a mumbai city fan last yes he's been improving since last season But yes. uh, he's not as young as Liston Colasso and uh, Opia, right? Yes, but yeah, still I, I he's very him, nice and forward. Yeah, I see him playing maybe abroad. But uh, if we talk about young and talented players, I think Opia and uh, Liston are the leading fellows. Yes, yes, that is true. That is true. Yes. Uh, so back to uh, Liston Colasso, the person who are we talking about? Uh, he's had amazing performances. Okay. So uh, out of the season, apart from that last goal, which other goal you think uh, was like noteworthy, which made like you know think like yes, Liston Colasso is a big deal this season. The if you see the first match versus Kerala, that bender like I have oh, yes, that that, that curler, I have not seen that goal in ages. Like a fancy that goal, he just like he's standing, not even running, just the ball stops. He's like just. Kick the can in curls and went into the like nothing happened. He just went in, and like it is also one of the goals of the season. I will say. Yeah, uh, by actually there are a lot of goals of the season this season by literally <laughs> Liston himself. Uh, let's see. Yes. I don't know. I think we may we have he may be facing himself only for the fan votes. <laughs> yes. Maybe. You see, he's the, right now. He's the top Indian scorer in the SL. Yeah. So uh, the main thing uh, we all Indian fans want, uh, even I'm although I support Mumbai, but as a Indian football fan, I don't want his form to drop. You know, when the form drops, then it affects a lot. Yes, I also don't want. I just want him his form to improve and improve and improve so that he can do something much bigger in the future for Indian football. Yeah, I think a deal abroad will definitely solidify, you know, his legacy in Indian football. Even though if he doesn't, you know, perform well or doesn't get starting much of starting football, how he gets here, but playing abroad and you know being uh, representing India is by far one of the big things that all Indian fans want him. That is true. Yeah, we also so- want that, and we also want the best for Indian football. Yeah. So uh, let now, of course, there are a lot of countries in this world. There are about hundred and ninety plus. Uh, which country do you think uh, Liston Colasso will end up in? This, this, like you know, uh, guess. I will say if he if he wants to go abroad in Europe somewhere, he may end up like in Spain second division yeah, or third division. Maybe. Yeah. I I believe it will be in the Portuguese division. Portuguese, yes, that place, Spain, Spain uh, Portugal, France, because, uh, or. He's from Goa, yes. right? So I'm not not saying that because of Goa Portuguese connection, but uh, he may be familiar with that environment. Yes, 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 that is true, and I think like he will he will find his fellow people there. Yeah, we can we can't forget that Ishan Pandita was also playing in the Portuguese league before. He could join us. Yes, yes, yes. He has gone little silent this season, don't you feel? Yes, last season he was amazing. Like he's just coming off the bench and scoring goal. Like he's come off, he scores a goal. He come off, he like last season half of the time he was just like uh, not half. I will say full of the time he was just like giving equalizers to the team. What do you say? Yeah, I, but I think it just has exposed uh, that uh, he's a good super sub, uh, not a good starter. 
Mm, yes. The only thing that he, uh, you know, at the moment, it has been proven about him. Another player who, if you ask me, young player who is like right now emerging, who is playing better, I will say that is Jamshedpur's Komal Thakur. What do you say? Yeah, yeah. Even he is a uh, good. Uh, of he course, not as uh, you know the big name player, but he's uh, you know doing very well. Yes. Like he has uh, in this season, he has scored some good goals. Yeah, very very noteworthy ones. Uh, so I think uh, we have uh, done in a good discussion about Liston Kola. So if anyone who's watching this live stream once again, I'll tell y'all that uh, y'all can drop your thoughts about Liston Kola. So in the comments down below, what do you feel? Is he going to be the future of Indian football? Is he going to be the star player of Indian football in the future? Y'all can tell me in the comments down below. Jeet, thank you once again for joining our podcast. Hope to see you uh, in you know future podcast soon. Welcome, bro. I, I'm. I also want to be here again. Yeah, thank you so much for being a part of this podcast, guys. If you all want to be a part of this podcast too, uh, do contact me on Twitter and Instagram. If you all enjoyed it, to drop a like and you can check my other videos. And if you all enjoy my content, then of course you all can drop a subscribe. Thank you once again. Do like, share, subscribe. See you all in more videos coming soon in the near future. Goodbye. Take care, guys, and stay safe.